it seems if you want to be famous in Scotland, you need to have a monument. If you're in Stirling, it will be William Wallace, one of the most famous heroes of Scotland. But on top of many hills, you will find something like this. This one is to Sir, Sir David Bird. Uh, he was a warrior, a fighter, and uh, he's remembered here for um, successful campaigns in India, for securing the Cape of Good Hope in another battle. Um, and he's also remembered because he was apparently compassionate to those he defeated in war. He was loving to his comrades that he worked with and his family. So there's a big plaque there. Of course, you never really know. Uh, people only say good things when they put a monument up of you. But I do kind of find it fascinating when I go around Scotland to find this kind of thing on top of many hills. And I guess the family or those that honour him, perhaps even the government, put it there in his memory. Which makes me wonder, you know, what is it do we want to be remembered for? Is it the kind of words of, of Micah 6 and verse 8 where it talks about walking humbly with your God, doing justice, loving mercy? Is it perhaps like the Apostle Paul at the end of his life when he writes to the young minister, to Timothy, and he says, he's about to die, he says, I'm already being poured out as an offering and the, the time for my departure has come, but I have fought the good fight. I've completed the race. I've kept the faith. I actually like reading history and finding out about people like this, but the best history that I can read really is that which is provided in the Bible, the Word of God. Not so much as a history lesson, but as a storybook, as a revelation of God's love and compassion for me, and an encouragement that, like the Apostle Paul, when I come to the end of my life, I can say, I fought the good fight, not in a battle in India or South Africa or anywhere else in the world, but fighting the good fight of sharing my faith with those around me. That's my hope. I hope it's yours as well.